Welcome to Cloud Klein. Hi, welcome to Cloud Klein. Today I'm going to be showing you how I have set up uh, a mouse to work correctly on my Shadow PC using my Galaxy Note 8 on my Samsung DeX. Um, one of the problems I've had with Shadow on Android um, is that the scroll down wheel, so scrolling down on the wheel of my mouse, doesn't work. So when I'm on websites, um, you know, scrolling through web pages, I can't go down. It will work absolutely fine going up. All the other buttons work correctly, um, but it's quite frustrating um, when you're trying to scroll down a page and you have to constantly press the down key. Uh, it's just not, it's not convenient, is it? So today I'm going to show you a workaround for that. And this will work in games as well, where you may experience mouse issues. So I'm going to connect to my shadow PC now and log in. And I'm just going to show you the example. So if I open up Chrome and Let's go to BBC News. And I'll make that full screen. So when I'm trying to, so I've clicked on the page and I'm trying to scroll down, nothing's happening. What I have to do is either press the down button or scroll down here. Now, if I want to scroll up, you can see that works absolutely fine, but down, not at all, it's only up. So, I found a workaround for this, um, which is handy in games where you're using your mouse and you need to be scrolling up and down. And the workaround, if I come back to my deck station, is virtual here, USB server. So you can find this, this is available on Android, obviously. So virtual here. It's this one here, virtual here, USB server. Um, you do need to pay for this for a license after three attempts. So you can use it for three sessions, if you will. Um, but after those three sessions, you will need to, to pay a license. Um, I've just paid for mine now. Um, you can see here, so that gives you a trial mode. Uh, and it's just over £10. Uh, I think it's $14.99. Uh, so it works out just over £10. Uh, current uh, exchange rates um, which I think is well worth it for for the for the experience it gives you um, I've already got the app installed on my my deck station I'm going to show you go back over to the the shadow PC now and I've already got my shortcut here once you've installed it on your Android device um, you'll need to go to virtual here and you're looking for the client version of Windows. So you're running the USB server on your Android device. You see here virtual here USB server and on your shadow PC you want to run the cloud uh, the client application uh, which you can download from here. Just Google virtual here USB client and here we go and then you just select your OS version I'm running on the 64 bit. Uh, if I click on that now, it's just going to download it into my download folder and then I can add, I can move that to my desktop. And then every time I want to use it, I will just go onto my desktop and launch it from there. Now, to get this to work, you need to be port forwarding your USB devices from your Android uh, server. And to do that, you'll need to change some settings on your router. So, I'm with Talk Talk, and this is how I would log in. For me, it's going to be different depending on your router and your provider. It's going to be different for you, um, but I'm going to show you the settings here. So I'm going to go into my internet and port forwarding settings, and it's going to show up in a moment. So I've already created it here. Uh, I've named it Android Hub because that's what it seems to automatically display on virtual here. Um, so I've named it Android Hub. Then what you would need to do is the next is port mapping. So I had to create this as well. So I created Android Hub as the port mapping application. 
Um, you're going to name it whatever you want, but let's go with Android Hub. Um, the external ports you want 7575, internal port 7575, and protocol TCP UDP. Um, yeah, and then you can just save those changes. That will add. And then you will want to link that to your device. This is my phone, Sona Nagonori. So that's all set up there. Then what you will need to do, so you've downloaded the apps now. I'm gonna close, yeah, we're gonna close that here. So I'm now gonna open the Virtual Here Server app, and it's going to ask me, allow the app virtual USB server to access the USB device. It's not specifying the name of the devices, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just gonna click OK on everything. Okay, so, and now it's asking, unable to select USB device speed, please select. Um, I don't know what this means. I'm just going to go with the highest speed there is. Okay, and then I'm going to go back over to my shadow PC and I'm going to launch my virtual here client application here. So, Mine is already set up. I'm going to expand here and it's detecting Android Hub. And at the moment, I've only got two USB devices connected. I've got a hub with one mouse and keyboard USB Bluetooth receiver in. And I've also got a separate mouse receiver connected to my Samsung DeX. Uh, so that's what it's picking up here. The Rapu is the mouse and keyboard and the USB receiver is just the standalone mouse. Um, what you will need to do to before you get these options displayed on your screen, you need to right click on USB hubs and you will need to specify hubs. And this is where you will need to find out the IP address of your, your phone. Uh, and to do that, you can just go back to Dex, Google what is my IP address and you'll find it there. Then what you'll need to do, and I'll be blanking out my IP address because I don't want you all to know my IP address. Um, once you've put in your IP address, you will then need to add the 7575 afterwards and you'll click uh, add or close. And once that's done, this will be displayed on the screen and you'll be able to connect. So now I'm going to show you what happens. So I'm going to connect to this device here. Uh, on the trial version, you can only connect to one device at a time. Um, I can do all, but I don't want to do that because that's going to mean that I lose control uh, of my decks. So I only want one mouse controlling my piece, my cloud PC, um, because that's the only the only device that I have a problem with on the cloud PC. So I've now pressed uh, pressed that, and so now my mouse is being detected on the PC and you might be able to see on the left hand side there I'm trying to click but you can't see the cursor. I'm right clicking now around the screen and you can see it is moving but you can't see the cursor. So to resolve this issue so you can see the mouse I'm going to I've got another mouse here and this still works absolutely fine as the previous mouse was. I'm going to go right click personalize and it's in themes mouse cursor i'm going to go to pointer options and i'm going to enable this display pointer trails okay i've now lost control of this mouse this mouse doesn't seem to be working at all so i'm going to start taking over on this mouse again and you can see now i can see the cursor obviously it's quite annoying with the long drag trail so i'm going to just put that to short and now you can see it's barely noticeable the trail and I can see the cursor absolutely fine. So now I'm going to apply those changes, click OK. And I might want to actually very quickly, themes. Oh, no, we're already on that. So improve the speed here because it's a bit sluggish. It's a little bit better, but that's OK. OK, so we'll keep those settings. So now if I go back to the BBC website, or we're on the Virtual Here website now, so scrolling up and down works absolutely fine. Okay, so that's my workaround for, for that. Um, I hope you find that useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Until then.
Bye-bye.